How do you make a rock float? Put it in a glass and add two scoops of ice cream. It's straw time. With Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number five of Swimming Week, our final day. And today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a swim tube, an inner tube you might use for swimming. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, in order to draw this uh, inner tube or swim tube, I thought it might be helpful to have some type of an example in front of us. So what I have here is a part of a, a toy and this looks a lot like the swim tube you might use as you're swimming. Uh, but if you look at it from the top view, it looks like a circle. We're going to be drawing it from more of a side view. And so as you tilt it, what happens is uh, the shape not only changes, but also the opening shape changes as well. Um, so what I can do is look at this and kind of get an idea of what it might a swim tube might look like. So this is an example that I can use. If you have one of these around the house, you might want to find that and use that as an example to have something in front of you when you draw. Sometimes it's easier to draw things if you can see them in front of you. And so that's why I've got this today. Now, um, I'm going to draw this in two different ways. One is like a person's wearing it, and another is going to be just that it's like sitting on the water or on the ground. Okay, so let's start off with the person uh, wearing it. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to draw two lines down. Now this is just going to represent the middle of a person. I'm not going to go into any detail on um, the person that, themselves, but what I want to show you is how we can make it look like the swim tube is wrapped around them. So I've got, this is basically the trunk of the person, and then what I'm going to do is draw a curve here where the tube goes in front of this person. And then I'm going to go up a little bit higher and draw an oval type of a shape that goes around. So we start up here higher on the edge. This actually would go behind, but again, we don't see that part because it's behind the person. So I'm going to start up here alongside and make a curve. And then I wrap it all the way around to the other side. Now this kind of gives us the illusion or idea that this is wrapped around um, this section right here, which doesn't really look like a person at the moment, just looks like a pole um, or a tree trunk. But it would have the same effect. We could make it look more like a person and, and you'd get the same result. Okay, so I have a race inside the tube here. This is where the tube is overlapping the body. Okay, now the lower part of the tube on the inside, you may not even see it as thick as this tube is. You may see this angle, I might see a little bit of it. So I could draw that here. Alright, so this is one example of a, a swimming tube around a person. Now I'd like to draw another one down here in the corner. And this one is either laying on the water or it's on the ground. And I'm going to start it in a similar fashion. Um, I won't have the person down the middle, but I'm going to start with kind of an, an oval type shape, and this time it's a complete shape. Okay, now, the, the bottom part of the tube here, this is what's coming out at us, so it's going to be wider than the back end. We won't, the back end uh, is going to look thinner because it's farther away. So I'm going to get a curve here that mimics the one down below. It's parallel with this one down below. And then it goes past a little on each side. And then I'm going to start, um, I'm going to come in and make a curve that follows this curve on top. And if, this part's going to actually be a little bit narrower than this front part. It's farther away from this, so it'll be a little bit narrower. But in this example, you can see through the hole in the center of the tube. Okay, so this is a fairly simple drawing today, but it gives you an idea of two different ways you could draw a swim tube. Our drawing for the day. Well, now that we know how to draw a swim tube, let's take some time and see how we can add that to the big picture. Okay, let's take one final look at our big picture for this week. 
I've added today our swim rings. There's one here on the ground and one in the pool. Uh, in this one in the pool that's floating, uh, this is dad. This is the dad here of the family. And he's looking over here at his son, getting ready. I think he's probably got a water gun stashed underneath here somewhere. But this the son's not aware that he's he's got an eye on him. Um, I went ahead and finished coloring everything in. Now remember, don't ruin a good drawing with bad coloring. Take your time and color things in nicely. And, and use a smaller, for smaller areas, you might want to use color pencil, larger areas. Uh, you, crayons are fine or, or other materials are fine. But make sure you take your time and do a good job. So this is our drawing, our big picture for this week. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me this week. I hope you'll join me next week as we start a new summertime theme. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.